All right, we are going live. Hello, hello, everyone. Um, this is Chris, or Cream, from Fallstar. Um, just trying to do this once a week now, I think. Um, but just here to answer some questions and update you all on what's going on with Fallstar and our new album called Sun Breather. It is 11 songs of just the best, best post-hardcore, metalcore, rock and roll that you will ever hear. This will be the greatest album ever written. It's my favorite album that I've ever heard. And it's great. I'm drinking um, Truly Mango. And also, I just um, want you to see Kova. Kova, do you need to come here and say hi to everyone before we start? Kova, buddy. <laughs> Hold on a sec. This is important. He he was the one that was like, Chris, you got to get on here by 8.30. I didn't make it. Let, let me check. Kova, hey, what's going on? Why are you laying down? Come here, buddy. Kova, come. Come. Go, boy. Come on. Please. Kova, come. Yeah, here he comes. This is the, this is the star of the show. Say hi, you big, beautiful bastard. This is Kova. He's a wolf, Malamute, German Shepherd, and he's the best dog in the world. Oh, see Instagram? There he is. This is Kova. He's six years old, and he loves the Lord, and he's never bitten anyone before. He's gotten in some dog fights because he hates German Shepherds, even though he is a German Shepherd. Um, but he's amazing with our kids. Like, he's 135 pounds, and our kids just harass him and my three kids if you get them together in the same room they could scream down a full-size bison and kill it so like he isn't a dream dog and he's incredible and he has two bionic legs you still kick him um so i didn't have a ton of questions come in but uh what's up johnny um but i will i will i will go over what i had so far um and honestly, I don't feel good about these questions at all. So I really hope next week I get some legit questions. These aren't great. First question, what's your address? I would like to mail you a box of my farts. Your eyes don't lie rules. It does not. It's a shit-ass album. <clears throat> the only reason you should buy it is if you're like a completionist. Otherwise, rip it off LimeWire. It's not great, but this might be a little treat. If you've never seen this album in person, it's it. it this is a. Uh, this is what the band used to look like here. Look at that! Wait, can we get that better? That's me in the yellow shirt. Look at that hair! Gosh, and that's Justin. And that's Duck. Yeah, if you were there for the old days, God bless you. Those were so fun, and this was this was a fun album to make. And those songs made such a party. Vince, you were there for all that shit. So, um, so the next question was, and I, I, I hate this question. I've I've gotten it a couple times, and I feel like I just might as well answer it. But someone was like, I just wrote. I didn't. I'm gonna paraphrase it because I just wrote down what they said. But they're like, um, you realize <laughs> that the cover of your album Sun Breather looks. It sounds exactly like the album from Deaf ha Heaven, um, Sunbather. And I was like, and it was like right when we, after we launched our Kickstarter campaign, and I was like, Deaf Haven, I don't know that band. But I looked up the album, and it <laughs> looks exactly like our album cover. And I remember seeing that before. But I think it was when I was designing the color cover for Future Golden Age, and I was looking for pink records. I got a super new pink thing, and then I, I, I wussed out on it. But I was looking like top ten pink covers in the like, Tyler the Creator one, where, where he's uh, it's a black and white picture of him, pink background, and all that stuff. And it definitely Sunbather. So I think that definitely influenced this album <laughs> in name and color and design. So whoops, that happens. Hopefully, it doesn't happen with the music. Um, when you have band members, they can kind of check on that shit for you. And so, like, if I write a song that sounds like Day to Remember or if I use the exact line from something else, usually someone will catch me. But no one caught me in this one because we don't listen to that band. 
and uh, whoops. But this album is definitely Sun Breather, and it's like in all of the songs, and the theme works for it. So thanks, guys. Um, yeah, that that's the explanation there. Frantic Harvest Days. Sorry, let me let me let me grab this off the the the, the shelf. Someone mentioned Frantic Harvest. This is um my high school band with my twin brother Jeff and um, my friend Grant Bloomdahl, who's an incredible songwriter. He's such a dummy for quitting music. But I don't know if you actually quit, but one day he's going to make some more music, and I keep pressuring him because he's incredible. Frantic Harvest. I might put this up on Spotify one of these days. It's not great. If you like Dogwood and like – um, I mean, but for high school, it's really good. Um, but yeah, I, I might put that up one day if anyone cares to listen to it. Um, and then the other questions I got were from um, current and former members of the band, and they all had to do with dong size and um, and pooping my pants on my honeymoon. That's a funny story for everyone to bring up, so I'm not going to answer those questions. Um, let me see if there's any other questions. You can ask questions on the YouTubes and on the Instagram. I will try <laughs> and, and catch all these. Um, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> you're talking about switching instruments during the breakdown with the Hope for Home. I was actually on a podcast last night with Matt, um, from a Hope for Home and we talked for like three hours and we both got a little tipsy, but it was amazing. And I, I love talking to that dude. I don't talk to him very often, but every time I do, it's just like kindred spirits. And I wish we would have connected even closer, like back in the day, but now that we're like grown ups. Like, we're just, like, on that same wavelength. So I freaking love those guys. Um, but we were just talking about that breakdown. We had this song, Oceans, from Your Eyes Don't Lie. And one of the one of the shows we played, we used to have an insane scene back here in Portland, Vancouver area. We killed the lights. It's, like, the last breakdown of the show, our big song. And then Hope for Home came up and took our instruments, and they played the last breakdown when the lights came back on. So that was a beautiful memory wish you were there Vince you were there next on the docket um we have pre-orders they launched this week which is mucho excitamento I'm very excited for them I, I had to make two pre-order packets this whole year um which is those are a lot of work but I'm really happy with these how these designs came out like we had the crowdfunding pre-orders which was awesome and then we had um, the Face Down Records pre-orders, which came out really well. So check those out. Right now they're on um, sale. I think it's just this week, but it's like 25% off for anything. So it's like vinyl, sweatshirts, long sleeves. There's stickers come with it. And then like a beanie, which we've never done a lot of those merch items before. So that's pretty cheap. And there's two vinyl variants, which I'm very excited to hang some vinyl on my wall. These are all my accomplishments up there. And I just have one vinyl from 09 that EJ printed off for me, which is awesome for that single I did with them. Sorry, YouTube, I can't get my computer up there. Um, but yeah, pre-order's happening right now. It'll be going till February 12th, so it'll be up for a while. Um, and then I wanted to talk about, we have a new single coming out very soon. I think it'll be in a week, so keep your eyes out for it. So if you haven't followed us on Spotify, follow, follow us so you're notified right away. And thanks for listening to our previous single. It's going really well. I uh, really appreciate all the feedback and for everyone taking the time. Um, this next one is going to be balls heavy. So it, it's more along the lines of like Rage Against the Machine and Limp Biscuit heavy. Or we have some other ones that are more like genty with more breakdowns um, that I guess you could say are heavier than this one. But this one's like really frantic and crazy sounding. So I am hoping everyone likes it it'll be some newish territory but like with every song with this record you'll have seen it coming if you've been following us we just push everything a little bit further um but yeah i think i think that's all i have to say today i didn't really have any other stuff um unless you guys want to look at like my toy cars or something that i have in my office um let me see if there's just any other questions and then uh and then i'll sign off Guys, Justin Abel, Justin Abel 
mixed this record for us. He saved our asses. And he's the best music person I've ever worked with. Like, he knows music and studies crafting songs. So I'm stoked for you to hear this, uh, just the rest of everything. Like, he put in so many keys and effects and just stuff we never would have thought of. Like, he shows us the mix later and we're like, oh, yeah, of course. It's amazing. So very excited for that. Um, 09. Great, great, great. I think uh I think that might be it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How much gosh. Oh, 09 is trying to bust our balls right here, but I would say um they are doing a crowdfunding campaign right now to uh raise money to finish their album. So they have five songs. If you've never heard of 09, it's um Chancellor and EJ, and they're my buds, and uh Justin Abel um is pretty much a member of that band even though you don't see him in the pictures i don't know why they don't put him in the pictures they're honestly like really not cool dudes for doing that so i was gonna say something about supporting their crowdfunding campaign but don't don't support it but they have um maddie mullins was just in a song and then um uh oh my gosh malia from glacier veins was in a song and then they have like cove reber and uh, Kellen Quinn going to be in some music. And then another one that I don't know if we can talk about yet, but they're writing amazing music, and they're doing something really different, and they're doing an Indiegogo campaign right now, so you can get it from their uh, Instagram. Uh, but they're, like, roasting their own coffee, and um, they've got some awesome merch and some awesome stuff going on. And they that those two guys, actually, and Justin, um, they really helped a lot with this record. Like I sent tons and tons of demos like i wrote like 65 songs for this record and 11 made it and i was just constantly sending these guys demos and they gave me a ton of constructive feedback and they're also like chancellor and ej are are people that study songwriting not study but like that's their craft like they get better and better at it and they're constantly like what's up kim really um constantly like working at it so i was just sending them tons of demos and they were just like helping me tighten everything up and um like I've moved to a very verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, pop structure in music, um, and they they really like push me more into that. And um, the way they look at songs is just interesting. A lot, lot of dynamics, and and this record is a lot better because of them. So thank you, three guys. Um, I think I think I think that might be it. Sup, Sam. Gosh, I keep wanting to sign off, but then I just see so many awesome people on here. I've never done this before. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what else to say. If someone wants to bang out a question, otherwise, I'll just have a little sip of this and then maybe be going. Yeah, Justin. Um. Well, this is my office, I guess. Yeah. This is this is where the magic happens. So, these are all um, the records. I've done from high school, <laughs> right to Carvis, until All Star, and then Cobra Cobra, Northlander. Those are my cars. Speed Racer, Doc Hudson. This is the wall. I just erased all of the um, All Star stuff I had to check off, but I'm trying to learn marketing stuff for music. And then I have a couple other records I'm working on that I'm checking out boxes for. And then these are the guitars. I sold all my my beautiful extra guitars pay for helping to push this record so these are just the tools that i use they're cool but they're not flashy there's stuff i need and there's my day job on my camera here all right well love you all thanks for tuning in this was short and sweet bye youtube bye everyone have a great night much loves and we're any listen now that Instagram's not here, I want to say all the stuff I really needed to say. Just kidding. Thank you, guys.